What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode two of our blind Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. We are on day two of our time here in Alola. We just met uh, Kahuna Hala. We met um, Lily. We met How. We met Lil P, our new um, our new buddy, our new Pop Leo. Uh, good episode. Good episode. And we are now. Uh, Watching our mom again talk about the exact same thing she talked about yesterday. Uh, and then uh, there's a doorbell. So she wants me to go see who it is because she's a little bit, she's kind of lazy. So she wants me to do it for her. She wants me to do everything. I think that's why she had a child. She wants to uh, utilize me for unpaid labor. Hey there, Gio. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first I got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all the basics. Come on, it's a real one. You can teach me how to catch Pokemon with Pokeballs. Have fun, sweetie. Have a good time with the professor. Me and Meowth are just here to unpack every last box here. We see him. Meowth doesn't really want to help out with the unpacking. Meowth, me and Meowth, like, we're tight, right? So he told me, like, really? He just doesn't like unpacking. He'll, he'll pack up. He'll pack up the house, but he really doesn't want to um he really doesn't like unpacking it's just not really meowth's game he told me this because we're you know because we're tight um so i have to make like a pokemon move and use agility to catch up to the professor here uh, his request not mine yeah over here so you know that wild pokemon will sometimes jump out of the tall grass yeah now that you got it popular over there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try and catch them, too. I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. What is he going to catch? Rockruff. Grubbin! Grubbin! <laughs> oh, I love Grubbin. Alright, let's go. Speed it up, buddy. Sand attack, fight. Vice Grip by the Grubbin. It's not very effective though, because you got to remember Rock Rough. Is I really don't want to watch this. <laughs> My God, I don't. I don't want to watch this. I don't think you guys want to watch this. So let's cut it. And we're back. He caught the Grubbin. All right, got myself a Grubbin. Well, Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Ten Pokeballs, not bad. How many How many potions? Five? Nailed it. Nailed it! Nailed it! <laughs> yeah, why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way out to Iki Town, yeah? Take your care of Geopapio. Oh, it's so funny, because, like, I'm taking care of Poplio and not vice versa. But, like, actually, well, no, you know what? I guess he is taking care of me. Now I get a grubbin' of my own. Grubbin' becomes Charge-a-Bug. But anyone who knows me and knows my nickname for the grubbin' that I caught last game... Y'all know I'm catching this one again, and it's getting the exact same nickname. You know what a potion? Get grubbed on. Don't you shake on me. I weakened you sufficiently. You are a very weak Pokemon. Grubbin was caught. Excellent. Like someone is borrowing some eggs. Eggs are lent to me. Disarming Sorry, voice. I don't know that one. Wow. How did you pick that up? My echo just... <laughs> I said eggs are lent. Uh, see, the wake word I use for that one is Alexa. Did she hear me? She didn't hear me. She didn't hear me. I wonder if I can mess up anyone else's room. Alexa. Order 10 pounds of meat. Confirm. <laughs> Grubbin's data will be added to the Pokedex. 
When I played through this game the first time, I remember being super frustrated at uh, how long it took me to to get a little grubbing up to third evolution. All right, so last time I named this bad boy Bugnitude, and we're doing it again. Sweet. All right, let's go. Let's very much go. Item. So I heard a noise. Are they doing any weird mechanics? Shaky grass or anything like that? This is a boring battle. And it's a pick. It's a, a picky peck. And uh, I am going to catch it. But I'm probably not going to use it for very long. Alright, I crit the picky peck that I was trying to catch. So I guess I'm not, <laughs> guess I'm not catching that one. Uh, that's enough. We got a trainer here, though. She's gonna remind me that, th that if we lock eyes, it is literally the law that I have to battle her. Yeah, it's the law. You have to do it. I, I, I had, don't have a choice in the matter. It's unfortunate, I know. But last Audrey. She's got she's got something for me. And it's a Beniri. I'm not going to make you sit through this one, guys. This is not an important battle. And Baneri goes down. Your Pokemon looks so happy that they've won. Well, at least one of them does. What? She's not even going to congratulate me on being an amazing trainer or anything like that? I didn't even... We didn't meet eyes... And this was going to show me a Caterpie. So I think the whole point of this is just like level me up a little bit on the uh, on the run up there. But again, Caterpie, I'm not going to stick around for this battle. All right, little Jimmy, little Jimmy goes down. Little Jimmy out for the count. Now a little potion. And Rockruff is staring at me.
My camera did a weird thing again, so I had to just restart the stream, which seems to fix it right away, but it's that doesn't mean that I'm not annoyed by it. So this little kid, uh, I'm going to surprise you, and he says, please battle me, and kid, don't you know, it's the law. I'm not trying to get Officer Jenny out here, preschooler, so we've met, you know, youngsters, we've met lasses, met bug catchers. And now, we've got an Alolan Rattata. He's like, he seems like the kind of Pokemon that would say, meh, see? Or something like that. Uh, but we'll knock that thing out with a super effective disarming voice, like, right quick. Lickety split, let me tell you. If you're strong, please go away. Why don't you go away? You're the one who wanted to battle. You said, please battle me. Hey. Okay, what kind of name is question mark, question mark, question mark? All right, that is a that is a ridiculous name. It's a ridiculous one. Uh, so I don't know what kind of voice for this yet, so I'll decide later. So this is what they call a festival. It does look like the people are having fun. Not that they should, as though this was any time to celebrate, were, as if this were any time to celebrate. You don't have to try so hard to act like you're not interested, you know. That's really frustrating. Okay, let's keep going. One of them's got like a little hair flip, like right down the side, and the other one's got like a right down the front. Maybe a festival isn't so bad sometimes. The aura measurements are pretty high, too. Are they? It's only thanks to the blinding one that Alola is overflowing with such brilliance. Though the blinding one is left in such a state now, so dark and enfeebled. We've just got to make sure the blinding one can shine like it used to again, right? Okay, so the sun is pretty blinding. Let's start by having a look around. So one of them's like younger, with like a braid and one of them is older so I'm guessing the younger one is a young girl the older one is like you are likewise new to the shores of Alola a fellow traveler from a distant land curiouser and curiouser I'm not chasing you that's what they want Is that an Alolan executor? Everyone's having a good time. Hollis here. The Alolan region is made up of uh, four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to those great Pokemon. Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. What's up, how? How you doing? <laughs> How's it, Geo? Man, I never thought you'd make it. Me and Linton have been waiting for ages. Grr. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right on time. Wait. How just told me he was waiting forever. So am I on time or am I late? You guys got it. Maybe How is just always early. But to what exactly? Pew. A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in a friendly competitive in competition to please our guardian. Woo. Will you two be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt, but I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Geo. Allow me to heal them for you this time. 
So much healing. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Then let's begin. Nah. Alright guys, this seems like a story fight, so I won't skip these ones for you. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection for them and all Melee Melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity Tapu Koko. Before you stands Hal, grandson to the Kahuna. Let's have fun with this, Litten. Before him stands Geo, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Okay, but earlier they were saying, like, that's not super unusual, that Koko is just kind of, like, weird, like, kooky, like, sometimes. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, huh, that's just typical of it. Poplio, take care of my little Geo. Okay, how's not trying to make Litten kill me? He's just trying to battle Litten against Poplio. As long as we have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Geo, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Y'all, this too easy. Plus, I've already bought this guy. Oh, he, oh, he's got a Pichu now? Ah. All right, that does that change things? I might just outright. Uh, I don't know that he actually even has a super effective hit for me yet at level six. So I, I'm gonna risk it. I'm just gonna stay in. He's got Tail Whip, so it might be in my better interest to not tank a Scratch from the Litten. Is this a two-hit KO? It is. I mean, Pichu might have a tackle, but I'm not super worried about it. Charm, so he's just debuffed me a bunch. I can just switch out. I might not even need to, though, honestly. All I have is one defense drop. I'm about to hit him with a very powerful... I'm about to ding, too. So I'm probably out leveled him. He's probably level seven. I'm level nine. Switching would be a way to guarantee that I win this, but let's just keep battling. Let's kind of speed this through. Yeah, because he's level seven. I out level him by two levels. Uh, I got type effective bonus, and I've only gotten one drop. Uh, and he's just gonna growl anyway. So my attack is floored. But I might Oko him with this water gun. Just barely didn't. But at this point, there's no way he Okos me. Uh, scratches, not stab. Uh, he did get a crit. <laughs> he did get a crit. I'm getting my bad luck out of the way now, guys. They're, they're, give they're giving me all these crits now, so I don't have to deal with them in really inopportune moments in the future. What? It's already over? And 140 poke yen for me. Hoo wee, another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Geo. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle with this. Even Tapu Koko. Is that Koko Koo? Oh, you heard it yourself, Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time for you to take this, Geo. Is it my shiny stone? What you got for me? I need it. Oh, it's my Z ring. Ah, Z power ring. So now, what happened last time is once I got this shiny stone back, I battled Hala. Uh, we kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Though you will need to undergo the island challenge and collect Z crystals for yourself if you wish to draw forth the Pokemon Z power. And yet you already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it had a mission for you. 
Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. Every... Nani? Four islands. Oh my god! He did it! <laughs> he did it! You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Woo. Woo. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But I'll let Kahuna Hala explain the details. The island challenge Kukui spoke of. It is a journey to become uh, to overcome your own limitations as you travel the far corners of Alola and meet with others along the path. It is a great adventure that children in the Alola region embark on upon along with their Pokemon once they reach 11 years of age. Allow me to give you both the Island Challenge amulets you will need. Awesome, thanks Tutu. I'm gonna make it through the Island Challenge and try to become an Island Challenge Champion. This one is for you as well, Geo. Please do give the Island Challenge a try. Uh, Alright. Very cool. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. What if there was, like, crime here? Because I have so many of these, like, really important items. What if I showed up, like, crying, and I was like, I was mugged by, like, a 27-year-old, you know, I'm, like, 11, right? So, Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. I saved Nebby! I, th that was me! Pew! That was me. That was all me. That was none of this, none of this Coco business. All right. It was me. Me too. Yeah, I want to meet Tapu Coco also. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Nebby, Alola is full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? This was a most mysterious event. A festival to celebrate drawing forth one's full power. You looked like you were enjoying the show. Did you want to take part in the battles too? Don't be silly. We are here to investigate and learn. Even with all our technology, we cannot control the blinding one's light. Thus, we are left with no choice but to try. Stop it by force. And yet, it seems that... The humans of this Alola can wield powerful auras. Yep. What did they call that thing? A Z-powered ring? It aura reads were off the chart. Do you think that's why they can control auras like that? Alola is definitely an amazing place. Let's go check the next site. They're robots. That's how I'm doing this, guys. I'm doing a robot voice for them all. Honey, I'm home, says Mom. Marar. Oh, Gio, you're back already? I thought you want to stay in Nikki Town longer. Especially right after the great Pokemon battle. Oh, so in sync with your boy. You can do that for Alola. But right now, I got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at the festival. Night, night, sweetie. You get some help. You some sleep. Some help. You get... Honey, you need to get some help. the next day the next day aka the next episode so it, and she's gonna start the exact same way talking about the weather i'm gonna get a doorbell ring we already know how this goes but let's see it happen real time in the next episode as always my name is jim leader geo you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys next episode